Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I got this vehicle. The brake uh, bulb does not work. No matter, even if you change the bulb. So here's a new bulb. I put in a new bulb. It did not work, so the brake did not work. So whenever you want to do a little bit of electrical work, you want to check the basics, such as fuse. So in this vehicle, I didn't even check a fuse, okay? But what I did was I popped in a new bulb because it's a common thing to do if you have brake lights are working on. The other two are working, but this one's not working. The right thing to do is just get a bulb and throw in the bulb. But that bulb didn't work either. If you put in the wrong bulb, this is this this connector here has four wires. If you have more than two wires, you might want to pay attention to the bulb size that belongs there. So whatever you take out, make sure it matches. So this is a dual flare bulb. So if you put a wrong bulb in, it's gonna blow your fuse. Even though originally you had a bad bulb and you put in a new bulb. Now you just blew the fuse, you're going to have ABS, anti-lock braking, all kinds of lights pop up in the dash on these Toyotas. But it doesn't matter what vehicle you got, I found a trouble here today. So I didn't even go too far after changing a bulb. Got me a test light, I do have uh, something pushing my brake pedal, and all I did was I checked power. So it has power, it has ground, that's what I did with my test light. So I want to show you something, but check this out. My brake pedal is compressed right now with the stick and we do have a working ball. I'm going to show you what I did. It doesn't matter if you have a Toyota, Honda. This can happen to you. This can happen to anybody. This is my personal vehicle. I didn't know how cops pulled me over, told me you don't have balls. And he see me with the uniform. I told him I didn't know. You know, he let me get away with it. But bad ball, that's what I thought. I didn't put in a new bulb. But I've seen people come to me with a bad bulb and they put in the bulb, then they blow fuses, and now they have anti lock braking uh, uh, lights on the dash. So we have power. I want to show you something. This bulb right here, it has small little contacts, okay? But it doesn't matter which way you put this bulb this way or that way, turn it around. It can fit either way. If it wasn't able to fit the, either way, it wouldn't be a universal bulb, okay? But. Sometimes these contact, these metal little lines on the bulb, hopefully my camera can see, sometimes they won't touch. So you just move them slightly, okay? Just lift them up a little bit so they can actually, when the bulb goes in, they will hit and make a contact. But you could do that with this and it will work. But originally, this might not be your issue. Issue might be in there. So I'm gonna take the camera a little bit closer. I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna grab the light. You see the contacts inside there? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna simply, same thing I did with that, you're gonna probably just pull off, just pull these contacts, stick something in the back and just move them inward a little bit, okay? It could be any contact. It's hard for the camera to see. So all you do is you push on them. So that will give it a better contact. So that's what it was. It was just that contact that was not touching. Small little electrical trouble, you could do it yourself. Don't go to a mechanic, don't get a $500 bill. So just do that and that might save you some money. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. This can happen to your um, brake lights here. The one on the top is a different story, but these, it could be, it could happen same thing with your turn signal bulb, with your headlight bulb, it could be any bulb, okay? But anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, share and like.